Hello and welcome to the channel. My name is Vijay and I am a Microsoft MVP in SharePoint. In today's video, we are going to see how we can delete SharePoint site and also we will see how we can delete SharePoint site permanently using PowerShell. I will also show you how we can delete uh, a subsite in SharePoint online. So let me open my SharePoint site. So if you will see here, now this is a SharePoint site, this is a classic SharePoint site. But now let us see first how we can delete a site from the Office 365 or SharePoint Online Admin Center. So you can open the SharePoint Online Admin Center. So I'll just copy this URL and here I'll put hyphen admin. And this will open the SharePoint Online Admin Center. And in the SharePoint Online Admin Center, you can see here sites and you can see active sites. On the active sites, you will be able to see all the sites which are there in your Office 365 tenant. Now let us see we want to delete this site which is business and this is a modern site you can see here and this is Office 365 a group connected site. Now I will go here, I will just select the site, you can see here I just selected the site and then click on delete. So once you click on delete then it will it will show a confirmation box which will say that this is belongs to an office 365 group so you have to delete the uh, group related and all its resources so check this checkbox and click on delete so once you click on delete the site will be uh, deleted and it will be there in the deleted sites so if you'll see here now this is the deleted site from where you can see all your deleted sites so if you'll scroll down you can see here the last one is the site that we have uh, deleted now. So what will happen exactly when you delete a site? What are the things that it will delete? It will delete all your list and libraries. So that means all the list content or the library or the files, documents, everything will be get deleted. Not, not only this, if the site will be having any subsites, then all the subsites and the contents will be get deleted. So make sure if you want to delete a site, then you need to make sure that you have communicated with the business users so that they will be get to know that all the subsets and the content will also be get deleted. If you want to restore it, you can select it and then you can click on restore. So this site will be basically it will be available for 93 days and uh, then it will permanently deleted. So now you can select this uh, site and then you can click on restore and the site will be restored so you can see here it is also showing the group will be restored and you can see now the site has been restored and if i'll go to the active sites you'll be able to see that the site has been uh, restored apart from that now let us say this is our site there's another way you can delete the site as well so uh, if you click on the settings icon you can see here and remember this is a modern site so here you can click on the settings icon and then you can see site information and once you click on site information it will show a couple of information like uh, site name description logo and then you can see here there is another button which is saying that delete site so once you click on delete site it will also ask you the same dialog box that this site is office part of office 365 group and you have to select this and and once you select this then click on delete so once you click on delete now the site will be deleted you can, you can see here now we are in the in the main home page want to see the site or after deleted where it went so if you will click on the admin center you can click on deleted site and if you scroll down you can see here this is the site so that means once you delete the site collection of the site then it will come to this deleted sites and again it will be there for 93 days and you can restore it anytime now the other one that we can do here is if I will actually uh, go to a classic SharePoint site. So you can see here this is a classic SharePoint site and here if you want to delete a site then you can go to the settings icon then you can go to site settings and on the site settings you can see here under site actions you have delete this site option. So you click on that and then it will show that all the documents document libraries list list that everything will get deleted so you can click on delete and the site will be deleted now if the site will be having any sub site and if you want to delete only a sub site then you can follow the same approach that means go to the site content and basically go to the sub site now imagine this is our sub site you want to delete it click on that and go to the site settings page 
so you can see here uh, you can click on this uh, gear icon then you can click on site information if it is modern site you can delete it from here else you can see another button which is saying view all site settings and once you click on that you will come up to with the page which is the classic site settings page and here you can click on delete this site and you can say delete and delete so once you delete a sub site it will not go to your office 365 admin center or sharepoint online admin center deleted sites it will actually go to the recycle bin of this site so you can see here if i will go back to our classic sharepoint site and i'll go to the site content and here you can see recycle bin you can see here and uh, on this if you will go to uh, the second stage recycle bin you can see here second stage recycle bin and here you can see the site the name is same so uh, you can see the latest which is uh, deleted you can see here this one and this is the sub site and we can uh, click on this and you can restore it so this is how you can restore a sub site and also this is how you can delete a sub site now when you delete a site from the admin center it will actually not permanently deleted so it will come to this SharePoint uh, or this uh, deleted sites and it will be there for 93 days. And if you try to create a site with the same name, it will not allow you saying that there is already a site exist because it is still there in the um, it is uh, in the deleted site list. So what you can do here is we can actually run a PowerShell command. You can select a site and then click on permanent delete this. But apart from that also we can use PowerShell where you can delete a site permanently. And for that if you will see there is a command which is known as remove hyphen SPO deleted site. And then you can provide the site URL with a hyphen identity parameter. Make sure you have installed SharePoint online management shell and by using that only you will be able to connect to your office 365 or your sharepoint so basically um, i'll put a video i have already created a video how we can connect how we can install uh, and use sharepoint online management shell but this is how we can use it so you can connect hyphen spo service command we should take the uh, admin center URL, remember and then you can provide the credential and uh, once you run this command it will ask you for the password now let me open SharePoint online management shell. You can see here this is the SharePoint online and management shell. I'll click on run as administrator. And on this basically when you put this command it will ask you for the credential. So I'll put the credential here. Now you can see here now it will be connected. And next you can see here this is what the site URL. So let me just put a site URL here so you can see here there is a site known as technology let me put this so you can see here this is the okay this is a, the url is different so we have to take this url i will just copy this url now let me paste it here so i can now finally copy this command so i'll put it here i'll click on delete so it will ask you if you want to really perform this action so you can say yes and once you say yes you can see here it is it should be deleted now this site so let me just uh, uh, refresh it you can see here now the site is not there you can you can see here so this is how we can delete site we can permanently delete a uh, site using powershell and these are the PowerShell command. I have written a complete article on that. So I'll put the URL you can see in the video description. So if you like the videos, kindly subscribe to our channel and you will get a lot of free videos on SharePoint Office 365 Power Platform and also SPFX videos. Thank you and have a nice day.